Okay, uh, let's go on. Uh, we have already completed the past part of modal and infinitives. We can come to the second part of reading skills, how you can identify the given passage or the given word in a given passage. We will skip that. Uh, we will go to the third uh, point known as conditional uh, tense. In the third, uh, it talk about conditional tense. A conditional tense is a sentence that uh, can happen or cannot happen, and we can consider as a conditional sentence. It was divided into the three to four parts. Uh, there is a type one, type two, and type three, and uh, what we call zero conditions. Uh, in type uh, in type one, uh, when we see the type one conditional. Uh, it tells us more about uh, it is uh, a term we use it when we want to discuss uh, possible future occurrence. Uh, it is form is well plus verb ones. Uh, it is um, uh, main clause or it is if clause in this present sense, uh, and it is main clauses in the simple future tense. Simple future uh, ten is nothing but well plus present. Uh, uh, and type two is all about uh, what we are now called improbable or unlikely or unreal condition or type three. This conditional sentence is used to talk uh, about things which are very unlikely or unreal or improbable. Uh, it is form is would plus present conditional. Present conditional is nothing but would plus verb one. And the third type is what we are now called uh impossible condition or type three ways the ten use it to express something we did not and couldn't even happen. Uh the last of the post is zero condition. Zero condition is a type of conditional sentence we use to say what is always true in the prison uh and that was true in the past in the prison and will be true in the future. It is all main clause and if clauses in Simple present with nothing but verb plus s or b1. When we see this following uh, conditional sentence, which uh, was in final examination for last year in Armai University, uh, when we see this conversation between Susan and Hans, Hans and Susan, they are two guys. They are make, they make uh, make conversation uh, by using conditional sentence. Susan says, uh, we had a great time at Andrew's house on Sunday. Why didn't you come? Juan said, I had to study Spanish. Susan said, had you come with us? You dice. There's a word in bracket C and our some movies. When we look about what they had conversated here according to conditional sentence, we can conclude this blank space. What was in blank space is, or what was died, or what can be put in this blank space is a conditional sentence type three, uh, with nothing but would plus R plus B3. In this sense, B3. Uh, could be C. C can be changed to C to C uh, because it is a present form is C and it is verb 2 is also C and it is verb 3 is also uh, seen. Uh, we can change C to C in other verb 3. Wood plus R plus verb 3 could be substituted in this blank space, which is nothing but you can say, had you come with us, Susan, had you come with us? Uh, you would have seen an awesome movies. Uh, the second thing is, as, co as uh, the conversation continue, Hans said, yeah, what? Susan said, we rent it back to the future. It is about the kids, uh, wood times, wood time travel back to his parents' his high school days. He changed his own future at the end. His parent at the end, his parent dot 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 dot. Han says, Would uh, don't you tell me or wait, don't you tell me if you die, tell in the brackets me the ending, you will spoil it for me. I want to see it myself. 
When you're looking into this uh, conditional sentence type, uh, we can conclude that the word in a bracket with self, we can substitute this blank space uh, by using probable conditions or luckily condition or conditional sentence type one with nothing but it is poem is well plus bab one. We can change tail into tail because the bab one and the present conditional of word tail is tail. What or well plus bab one can be in this. You can say it if you tell me the ending you will spoil it for me i want to see it myself the second thing is uh, it is continuous uh, conversations uh, you answer it okay but have you ever thought about that have you ever thought about that uh you answer it about what susan's uh said about how things could be different you grew up here in Meridi and you are almost an adult now, but you would, your childhood have been uh, like if you had been born in a different family. Johan said, Let us see if I dash half in a bracket, a different family, I would have grown up here in Meridi. When we, when we look at this one, we can conclude what was in what can be put or substituted in the blank space is uh, what we call impossible condition or unlikely condition uh, with nothing but uh, with nothing but wood plus uh, Our bracket, our in bracket word is f. Uh, we can change. Add, yeah, I mean add plus B3. We can change uh, half to B3 of half, which means if, uh, let us see if I had had, because it is poem is hard plus B3, and half can be changed to it is B3 with add, 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 a different family I wouldn't have grown up here in Moridi. As a continuous uh, conversation, Susan said, and if you uh, haven't you grown up here, I dash not meet you. This is about uh, impossible or unlikely conditional sentence type two with would plus B1. Uh, we have not meet here. We will put would, wouldn't he, because not meet is here in bracket. Wouldn't he or couldn't he? Because would and could can be placed interchangeable or interchangeably. Uh, we can uh, uh, substitute this one, wouldn't he or couldn't he? meet we will put meet as it is not met because it is wood plus b1 with meat as it is continuous uh, one said that that is true but getting back to the to here or to the here now how did you do on the spanish test susan i pluck it i wish i hadn't taken that course i'm going to fail you aunt, you just don't need study enough. If you die, there is a word in bracket, you study more, you will pass this course easily this semester. Uh, when we look at this one, we can conclude this as a conditional sentence type. One who is nothing but will plus V1. We will put study as a B1 form as it is. If you study more you will pass this course easily this semester as it is continuous susan said that is easy for you to say you always get a's yuan's uh our hands uh, sometime i don't or it is not automatics i don't get a's unless i start art uh, susan i suppose you said yuan's if I dash B in a bracket, you, I will try to do better on the next test. When we look at this blank space, what can be substituted here? When we look at this sentence, we can conclude that it is conditional sentence type 2. A form of conditional sentence type 2, we can tell us that this sentence is about conditional sentence type 2 is would plus verb 1 with would plus uh, verb one or present conditional, uh, we can substitute this one be as where. If I were you, I 
we'll try to do better on the next uh, topic. Uh, that is all about the present conditionals. When you are with us, guys, you can read more little bit. It may help you uh, by in by upcoming uh, mid exam, especially those who are universities ex student. You can try to look this conditional sentence. I don't mean it. I don't mean it can make sense for you, but you may try. It may help you for the future. Uh, thank you. We may proceed to the post uh, chapter next.